We're gonna get a little distracted with side quests. Go get these frog things. I forgot that there's balloons that we can pop. Something up there. I wonder if there's a way to catch these guys well. I think the stop motion one is probably still the best. Arresto momentum. Settle yourself. I mean you no know harm. Levioso. Arrest the momentum. Beautiful. <laughs> Professor Howell will never believe this. All right, we got a few frogs. Let's go see what's up here real quick. We'll collect some beasts and bring them back home. Ah, it's a level two lock. Damn. These guys look interesting. They look pretty cute. This looks intriguing. Over the like, Holy shit! Of course there's a freaking This guy. Bruh. Bruh came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, these guys can teleport. Akio! Arresto momentum. Got him. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. I can't believe that freaking zombie thing just came after me like that. That was messed up. A train going by. We'll go in here invisible, see if they come down or something. No way. Nailed it. Professor Howell will never that gave me some this. lag, though. <laughs> Alright, we got a hippogriff. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dorico feather, it doesn't half hurt. 
Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Cos we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The crier knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. Yeah, let's see who your wares, I guess. For sale? That was a long dialogue. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Unicorn hair. Jeez, that is expensive. All right, cool. There's something else I want to do, and I can't quite remember what it was. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This will be the last thing I think we do today is the Shadow of the Estate. We meet Sebastian and Feldcroft. That's going to be a very, very, very long way away from here. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What good? Revelio. Wanna I wanna get this? Jeweled brooch. That's cool. This is a cute little town. Quite the cute little town. I don't know what these are. I have a terrible curse when I can't live cool with what we've worked on. Alohomora. Is that all in here, really? Oh, he's got something around the back here. Ooh. New one thing. Revelio. I don't know what this What is. do you have in store for me this time? I don't know what those are. What they mean? Levioso. Accio. Uh, well, I broke it. There's probably more, right? Huh. 
Probably get this little side quest while we're here too. Astro for point. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Confringo. What do we got here? We got a side quest. Fascinating, truly. Fa Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. All right, we do enjoy a good puzzle, even though I suck at it. An him. archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. I mean, I guess we can. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Revelio. Ah, there's the other ones. I found them. They're up above. Can't trick me, Merlin. Trick me. Akio. Merlin himself would be proud. Tabernals. Go near it. Glacius! 
Expelliarmus. Adam. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. I don't know what they were doing here. Did something though. Revelio. Goodies in here. Laceration two. Something behind this. I don't know what that is. I don't know what to do with these ones. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Glacier. Oh no, man. Defendo. None of my, none of my spells work on it. Levioso. Accio. Confringo. Oh shit. Confringo it is. Confringo. And not all of them? Revelio. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. I should investigate. Revelio. And so we'll see what's down here real quick. Revelio. We'll slowly stop getting distracted. Or more inventory slots. We'll stop getting distracted and make our way to where we need to go. We're real good at getting distracted. Now that looks interesting down below. Look at that. Is that? This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Oh man, see we're just getting distracted over and over again. Why are there so many vases around here? Don't break them. Akio. Levioso. Okay, we just break him. I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Confringo. Mirror vases. I have a feeling something's just gonna jump out of the shadows and get me. I think this 
should only be a few more vases. Couldn't bring us. All right, didn't want to wait. Didn't want to break. Revelio. There we go. One more vase. All right. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. What happened, though? Wait, it's a battle arena? What? Wait, what the f- Oh god, I'm gonna get my ass wrecked, aren't I? Oh god. Wave. They're waves? Let me also. They're a troll with zone bolt. Boom, boom, boom. Expelliarmus, Defender, Glacius. Expelliarmus. Defender. Glacius. Expelliarmus. Oh god, you got me good there. Good freight though. Expel the armor, defend us. Glacius. We got him. That was a close one. My god, there's a second wave. Well, that was awful. It is quite the combat challenge though. I will give them that. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Right, well, oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. A really cool wand handle. And the side challenges are very hard, and now we know. How many? I can't even imagine how many I'm supposed to fight. That was a ton just by itself. I don't know what this is. This looks important right here. That battle arena was messed up. There's something out there in the water? No, it's just reflections. I want to see what's over here real quick. A merchant right here. More weird stuff over here. Tons of enemies. Big old camp. Be there soon. I love that I could just fly all over the place. This might be a. This 
might be it. Revelio. How's this when there's chests nearby, which is really weird. Okay, it's probably because it's like special, special things like this. Training field, it looks like. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Well, in Feldcraft, for Andrei some 400 years ago during a great drought, and they many perished. We have a fast travel point here. How nice to see you, my young Is that friend. Pierre? You made it. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Sounds pretty depressing, I'm not this gonna way. lie. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. Flipendo! Randrock's not wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. It's a cute little town, though. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. You not gonna come in, bro? Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that dick. reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> oh, that was interesting. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. 
Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Interesting. Revelio. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalist's way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope mm. you remember what I've said. Good day. Seems a little I suspicious to, to me. Faring. Seems a little suspicious. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. 